What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dirt Labs and today I'm going to show you how to do this one to own etched effect in Photoshop. Alright, so um, this effect is quite easy to make frankly, so let's just get started and do, delete this one and we'll do it all over again. Um, so I got this nice serif type font in here and I'm going to type Dread Labs. I'm going to scale it up a bit. Alright, so um, the first thing we want to do is add a gradient overlay. Let's just reset this to default so you can follow along. Um, so I want to get a black and white gradient like this. And I want to make it reflected. And then reverse it so the white part will be in the middle. And then scale it up until it's kind of nice and fading. And then remove the opacity just a little bit so the middle won't be 100% uh, white. So now add a bevel and emboss. And I'm going to reset this to default as well. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go uh, add some depth to this. Uh, so let's just get it at 1000%. And then up the size until the full uh, letters are covered. And you can see that by uh, the middle of this uh, D here, if you up uh, the pixels in here. Okay, now it's properly like uh, etched to the middle. Uh, then the gloss contour, I want to make it into a ring. Uh, up the opacity of the uh, highlights because we want to have some really detailed highlights in here and add some shadow then you can put the angle wherever you want uh, I'm just gonna leave it at 90 and then I want to soften this up just a little bit uh, so maybe with three pixels okay so now that we have the base of this uh, what I want to do is I want to group this call this thread lapse again go to adjustments uh, and put a threshold layer on top of here and you might already see that this is kind of starting to look to the effect what we want but it's not really filled up there's still a lot of white cone on here so what we want to do is we're going to go and click on convert to smart object on our group and then go to filter noise add noise and i just add 25 percent but you can uh, add uh, how many however many you like um, if you go too high you can see that the effect will uh, not be visible as much anymore so I'm just gonna leave it at 25 um, okay so what you want to do now is you want to go and group these two and name it Dread Labs again or whatever you want it and then you go double click and because we want to only uh, we want our uh, text to be left with only the black parts in here uh, we want to get this slider to the white and we're gonna slide it over to here and what this does is it makes sure that there isn't any uh, white parts in uh, our text anymore. So if we uh, wouldn't have done this, you could see that there's still white going on. So if we go and double click and drag the slider in, uh, all the white parts will be gone. And if we go and convert this into a smart object again, you can color this however you want. So let me just get a black background here. And now we can give this a color overlay and you get this crazy uh, 3D uh, only with one tone basically. So if you zoom in, you can see that there's only one color of purple and it still looks like it's 3D. Um, so yeah guys, that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. The project file will be available on Patreon as always. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments or join us on Discord and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.